Francis, welcome. It's great to see you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Okay, let's talk first about gene sequencing and some of the really cool things that you guys are doing. I mean, I mean we've been talking about the genome being the answer to all things medical for decades, but it feels like we are really on the cusp of some, uh, some new things that bring the cost down and all kinds of things come with that. You're absolutely right. It feels like after a couple of years, there's just a lot of research on the genome to understand how your genome translates into human health and human disease. We're now at a stage where some of those discoveries are showing up in the clinic and making a really big difference in a number of disease areas. We've already seen in COVID, for example, how genomics help us identify the pathogen at the beginning was uh, instrumental in the mRNA vaccines that were developed. Uh, and then it's today used to track how the, the variants are emerging around the world. But we're also seeing impacts in the treatment of cancer, where people are sequencing a tumor to identify what treatment would be best for them. It's used in children's hospitals today to diagnose babies in the NICU that have genetic diseases. And so we're starting to see a number of applications show up in the clinic. And far and away, that's going to be the biggest part of the the genomics market in the future. What is GRAIL promising right now? So GRAIL is this really exciting technology that we developed at Illumina uh, that uh, has been launched in the market now about 18 months ago. And what it is, is it's a blood test uh, that you can take. It's a doctor-ordered blood test that can uh, identify if a person has one of 50 types of cancer. Now, stage one to stage four, that's a really big deal because we know cancer kills 10 million people a year. And we also know that if you catch a cancer early, even a deadly cancer like pancreatic cancer, your chances of survival can be pretty good. The challenge with pancreatic cancer, however, is that it has really no symptoms until stage four, and there's no screen for it. And so most times, pancreatic cancer is caught too late, and at that point, you only have a few months to live. So with the GRAIL test, you can do the blood test, and if you're over 45 or have a risk of, uh, of cancer in your family, it's probably something you should talk to your doctor about, but it'll tell you if you have one of those, you know, those cancers across stages. You do it now, right? I do. I How do much does it cost? My, it's, uh, it depends. Some employers, like Illumina, but some large employers actually cover it for their employees. So if you work at, at our company, one of the other companies, then it's free. Some health insurance companies like Point32 uh, on the East Coast cover it. And then we also have some, uh, some, some other health systems that are offering it what's to the, their What's employees. the full fare cost and what's the insured fare cost? Yeah, so if it's insured for you and your company, then it's free. If you buy it retail off the website, then it's $950. Okay. Uh, and it's a doctor ordered cost, so you'd have to have your test, right. your doctor would order it. So you do it with your annual. That's right. That's yeah. what I do. Grail going to work out? Where does that stand right now? Um, so from a business perspective, Grail's got a lot of traction. So it launched the product uh, 18 months ago. Oh, so are you going to be able 20, to keep it? 20, well, we're working through that process right now. Both with, with the European Lino, Commission. I mean, we talk about... The, we've been know, talking to Lena Cochran. We've been talking to the DOJ. They've right. got some teeth in a trust. And I'm just wondering, right, is this a t direct challenge to them? Will they take it that way? It's a process. We're working with both the FT. It's too early. We're in the middle of it. So it's too early, I think, for either side to say how it's going to I like your style. Out. Oh, this is a unique way. I mean, you're taking it to them in a way that most companies don't. We think it's important. I think the Grail test is very important in terms of the impact it's going right. to have. Illumina can really accelerate Grail. So it's a startup. Again, we founded it. Right. To go through the trials, you know, we had to raise more money, and then we bought it back. Grail on its own will make a difference. But with Illumina, we can make the test available much more broadly than this startup could on its own. Also, we have deep expertise in getting reimbursement for genomic tests. Our teams have helped get reimbursement for a billion people around the world for genomic okay. tests. So what we want to do is make that test available more broadly, more affordably, more more quickly than Illumina could on its own, uh, than Grail could on its own.